What's up everybody? Welcome back into the channel. Tonight I'm going to be doing a live thrift haul with everything I picked up the past week. But actually today I didn't even thrift at all, which is Thursday. So this is just three days of thrifting, period. Welcome on in. If you're on YouTube, you can just type in a uh, uh, rewatched on the bottom or replay on the bottom uh, in the comments. That way I know you watched it. I appreciate you guys being here. So again, this is live. I'll be answering some questions. Be keeping a G. Also, um, full-time reseller. I buy stuff, sell things for a living, and I was a teacher, and now I do this. It's more lucrative, and I have a lot more time, a lot more freedom, and I love it. So thrill the hunt, thrill the hunt. So a lot of people in this live come thrifting with me, and I really enjoy it. We have a really good time during the day. I find things new, and you guys, I hope, learn some new things from me, and we share all of our knowledge together. So I love the community, and I wanna give back. That's why I do this. So I always say before any video, almost, or during my lives, I wish there was, hey, thank you, Amanda. I wish there was something like this back when I started in 2015, 16. There wasn't, there was very little bit online to, to know about or to research about selling used clothing or shoes or anything. Um, you had to really go and find, find out the hard way. You'd have to pick it, uh, source it, list it, find if it sells or not. So these are super helpful. Um, they were for me, they would be for me if I were watching these back in the day. So everyone, thank you for coming in. Amanda, thank you guys for coming in. So I have, I actually got everything out of the bags for you already. Um, so I have like my surf up method stuff, which I'm not gonna go through into detail because you guys know the deal with that. So everyone always asks, what's a surf up method? K-Way kind of coined the term is when we had a conversation a long time ago, but in 2023, I started a new, a new thing in my process, a new, new part of my business model. It's if I can list something, which means take pictures and list it in two minutes, three minutes, say thank you, Caroline, or whoever, Let's see who that was. The crazy hippie, my bad. Uh, if I can take pictures and list it in less than two or three minutes and make at least $10 profit, that's the surf up method. So that's what it is. And actually, um, it can be on anything. I was thinking about today. It doesn't have to be on just the things I pick up. It can be something that you pick up that you have a lot around in your town. I know someone in my life said like, oh, we have a ton of Torah jeans, size big. Those might sell really well. So, hey, thanks for subscribing. Um, but let's get into it. What do you guys want to see? I have so many things tonight that there were new brands to me and I guarantee there are going to be some new brands to you that I might've already picked up and known about. So nice paintings. Thank you. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> I will go ahead and show off my hard goods. I only got a few hard goods. Like always, I usually get about five or less a week. Thanks, Felix. Felix, I'll tell you what, I'm going to show the first hard good. These are not for sale. These are spoken for. So I got these Nike Air Jordan kicks with the little tag on them. Um, someone in our live, Felix in the community, wanted these. So I'm gonna ship them out his way. And I uh, appreciate um, him always joining us in the lives. Again, these are going his way. He's an awesome person. Um, he's in the chat right now. So I appreciate you, Felix. These are going your way. These are not for sale. I wasn't gonna pick these up because they're like skis, but he, was, he kept saying, pick them up, pick them up. So I said, okay, I'll pick them up for you, Felix. Uh, all right. No problem. At least I can do uh, for all the info you give. I appreciate that, Luke. I appreciate that. Thank you, Kayla. Hey, I was looking for you live this morning at 9 a.m. I was waiting. I didn't go live one time today. I stayed at home because I wanted to watch you. Today I did pictures. I did like back-end inventory type stuff, getting boxes ready for the winter, all that sort of stuff. Um, but back to this. I got these Burton snowboard boots. So if you ever see that symbol, if you don't already know it, that's Burton. And obviously these are in a really good sell right now because there's really not any place to snowboard in North America currently. Now in South America there is, um, but these will be such a good sale in the winter. And they're in really good condition. I used to snowboard so I knew this brand right away. Um, and these boots will be good. The clickers work, you can hear them. Um, they were, 25 bucks, I think I can sell these for around 70, maybe a little more come winter. So those will go in the storage unit until then. Um, hey, thanks Jasper, appreciate it. 
Um, looks like Conway West boots. They do. They look like moon boots. They look like something Napoleon Dynamite would wear. But um, if you've ever been snowboarding, you I mean, you know those. They feel like moon boots. Uh, these rolled out on a cart. A lot of this stuff you're going to see tonight. You guys shopped with me this week. Like, literally, we were calling each other coworkers. You shopped with me. These, I forget the name. And a lot of these names, I'm probably not even going to say because I'm going to mispronounce it. Thank you, the one. Um... But I'm just going to show you, and it doesn't matter in this business if you can say the word or not, because all you're doing is typing it in, right? So here you go. Metafisto, Mephisto. You guys know that brand. I know it's backwards. It's flipped around, but it's Mephisto. And they're Gore-Tec, and the bottoms were in good condition. Anytime I find this brand, especially in Gore-Tec, which means they're water resistant or slash waterproof, they do really well. So I only paid $10 for these. Look up the comps on these. Metafisto Gore-Tec. I haven't, but I think these will probably sell for 80 bucks, especially if I just put a little bit of leather cleaner on the front toes, they'll do really well. Um, those are nice. Yep, Donna, they are nice. Um, they just rolled out on the cart, I snagged them. That's pretty much what you have to do. I wasn't being that thrifter who like ran over. That was actually at the cart where there was that thrifter that ran over the little guy. But um, not with those, not with those. Uh, got this. I actually got this Fowl Raven or Fowl Raven, whatever. Um, these used to be super hot. Like our neighbors had these maybe four or five years ago. I think they still sell well, but it's only six bucks. So I didn't look up comps or anything. I just picked it up. But um, I also, I know they make like uh, knockoffs and stuff, but I wanted to make sure I looked at the buttons, made sure they all were legit and all that stuff. What up fam? What's up Callie? Um, so yeah, that's a good brand to be on the lookout for. They also make, their clothing does really well. So their clothing does super well if you ever find it. Men's, women's, jackets, pants, a lot of hiking type of stuff. Um, found these Berkies. These are like the Dance Co. Uh, Birkenstocks. Um, these right here. So I actually didn't know what they were. I saw Berkies, so I knew they were Birkenstocks. And I saw the inside. Obviously they say Birkenstocks and in the bottom actually scream Birkenstocks. But they look like they've never been worn and they're like nursing clogs. They're super rigid like Dance Co. That's why I said that. Um, I don't even think that's a, that's just a little mark. So again, five bucks for these. These were no brainer. Um, what selling platform works best for me? Yeah, Fall Raven. Or uh, I'm I'm not for sure how to say that word, but um, I sold those. Easy seller. Yeah, I've never found these. Um, I sell just on eBay actually. Hey, appreciate the lightning bolts, Kayla. Thank you. I love you, Kayla. Um, I really do. Uh, but I sell on just eBay, so it's just me. Uh, one man show and I have a lot of success with eBay. In fact, like my biggest thing is that I'm not listing enough. I, s I sell more than I, than I can list and I source, um, which isn't a bad thing, but I'm trying to refine um, what I do. So one of those ways is the surf's up method way. And all these clothes, I'm just gonna show you real quick and throw them to the side. But again, I can list these all super quick. Thanks Felix, list them super quick. That means take pictures and list within two to three minutes, make at least $10 profit. So it doesn't have to be 10 to $12 profit. It can be 15, it can be $20 profit. There are items here, oh, thank you guys. There are items here that I can list in two to three minutes because I sell them all the time that make more money. So uh, let's talk about it real quick. We'll just go through it. You'll see a common theme. So Under Armour, these are called match play pants. I buy them in shorts and pants. I tell you guys all the time, I'll pay five to ten dollars for these. By the way, my buy cost on everything here tonight is five fifty. It was five thirty three the other day. I want to show you some of this stuff. I did a little short on it, but the buy cost on all this stuff is five fifty. So just pretend I paid five fifty for everything here. These will sell for twenty three ninety nine. Anytime I find golf pants with this type of waistband, um, like these right here, Adidas. Again, the three sixties. I sell these for around twenty dollars. Um, just found a pro line vintage Colts quarter zip pullover for six bucks. Problem is it's a Colts. I'm not going to answer that. I'm not going to respond to that. Boom. I found a vintage Colts shirt too, that I'm going to give to my buddy who collects Colts stuff and this weird hat. He sells vintage. Look at this hat. Look how goofy this is. Duckbill hat, but they sell for like 30 bucks. Um, uh, but I'm going to give it to him. And that wasn't very nice to say about the Colts, especially when we're down like we are. We don't have anybody. 
Um, so all these are gonna be surf up method. So my Polo Ralph Lauren, I get 10 to $12 out of these. Foot Joy now have become surf up method. I get 10 to $12 out of them. Adidas Polo shirts, I get about $10 out of those. Adidas golf pants with the, again, the stretchy 360, get about 10 to 12 to $14 out of those. Um, looks like Forrest Gump, I know. Um, is that plus shipping? So the surf up method thing is I price it and they pay shipping. So I price it super cheap on like, well, people look up the item, they'll see Ralph Lauren shirt. It'll be probably one of the cheaper ones on there. And then they play, pay shipping. So after cost of goods and fees on eBay and everything, I have to make a minimum of $10. Minimum of a $10. Should I wear that goofy cap? I think I should. So we're gonna wear the goofy cap. I always like wearing something that I got. Oh shoot, I got that uh, uh, Looney Tunes, that Toon Squad. I need to wear that. Uh, again, uh, Polo Ralph Lauren. Again, 10 bucks, 12 bucks, 12 bucks. This, if I was a part-time seller again, like it used to be, selling three of those a day would be dinner every single night. And I can sell three of those a day, no problem. Uh, Travis Matthew has now become part of that pile. Peter Millar has now become part of that pile. Um, Peter Millar, I, I sell for in the 20s, but I'm just saying I can list it super quick. Vineyard Vines is now part of Surf's Up Method. All these are now part of the method. So you see how I'm refining my business. Before I go to a new platform or hire people or um, expand, I want to refine my own business to as perfection as I can. Um, thank you. Yeah, thank you. We don't have any pro teams here in Louisville. Oh, you're in Louisville. Well, you can become a Colts fan. I can send you a Colts shirt anytime. I have many. Here's another one. But this one's going down south of Clearwater, so this one's called for. Kayla, are you still in here? Kayla, if you're still in here, let me know. Again, uh, let's just go through all the surf up methods. Rain Spooner. These, I can list these in two seconds, and I'm gonna sell these for around $20. Unless they have something special, which these don't, and again, if you don't know Rain Spooner, there you go, Rain Spooner. Um, I'll tell you uh, what is Surf's Up Methods. I'll tell you again, there's, there's that. Uh, another pair of these, another pair of these, another pair of these, and a 3X speed. Now this is a Surf's Up Method too, it's just bigger. All right, K-Way, what's up? I got something for you, and I hope your wife's around. Um, I've also been talking about other brands that are, all right now I'm doing a surf shop method, um, which was coined by K-Way. And Travis Matthew, even though this is new with tags, is surf shop method. It can be $10 or more, but you have to be able to list it, which means take pictures and list it in under two to three minutes. So whatever you get, you have to be able to take pictures and list it and make at least $10 profit on that item. That means after cost of goods, that means after uh, eBay fees or Poshmark fees or whatever fees you have, $10 more profit. So you're making $10 every two minutes. And again, Polo Ralph Lauren, you sell three of these a day, that's a dinner for four for sure. Maybe not with inflation, but Callaway shorts, I just sold a pair just like these. Something I would have never picked up before, I make $10 off these super easy, takes me two minutes to list. And so basically that's what it is. I'm going through all these, I'm not gonna go through each one because I have a lot of cool brands to show you guys. Um, these are another, another surf up method that I do. These Polo Ralph Lauren cargo shorts. So it can be whatever works for you guys. Um, that hat is terrible, I know. Rosenthal, I think it's a um, ski brand, but it screamed to me, cause look at that bill. Look at that bill, that huge duck bill. And I looked up comps real quick on my phone, $30, one sold for. So, but I might give it to my buddy that throws me Lululemon all the time. Um, and that, that, I don't wanna get that hat all nasty. Uh, do you keep RPI spreadsheet? Um, I have a spreadsheet that I have done ever since I started my business in 2015. So a lot of people use, I think it's Jason Hayes spreadsheet and they swear by it. And I would probably use it for sure if I just started out. But because I've been doing my own taxes for this business for so long, when I've had a CPA for so long and we're like super tight, I have my own way of keeping track of my inventory and all that sort of stuff. So, um, all right. So if Kayla's still on here, 
These are coming to you, Kayla. I forgot. These Judy Blues, these are coming to you. I forgot. We found one pair, and I said if we found a pair of shorts, she said go to shorts. I found them. I'm going to send them to her. Um, KOA, this is going to be a beta. So every week, I feel like I'm getting new brands that I want to try out um, to see if I can do. Actually, my goal would be every week. Hey, thank you. Thank you, TJ. Every week, my goal, I think it'd be awesome to find, just go into the thrift store, spend $300, and be able to list each one of those items in two minutes and make $10 on each of those items. In two hours, you would make a ton of money and you'd only have to work two hours a day. Um, that would be awesome. So Roar is a brand I used to pick up all the time pre-COVID. Started dropping off for me, but I think I'm gonna try it with a surf up method. What do you guys think in the chat? Roar, yeah. Kaywe, what do you think? Um, I mean, this is a 2XL. And I looked up a couple other brands too. I don't think they're going to work out. Uh, Lucky Brand Pearl Snap, not denim. Lucky Brand Pearl Snap. Um, and I also looked up um, uh, BKE Pearl Snap. Neither one of those looked like they would be a good one. So $25 minimum, easy, 25, 26. All right. Yeah, I don't know. Is it kind of one of those dip things? I feel like war kind of dipped down. Maybe it's back up because I think I, sold some pe I, think I saw some people sell them. So I'm going to flip this around for you guys um, so you can see the brand. Why do I always do that? What a, what a rookie. What a rookie. All right, so I'm going to mirror it. I found a whole bunch of this brand. A whole bunch of this brand. Uh, Emmanuel Berg. Emmanuel Berg. Super stretchy. I actually found them with buttercloth, and I did a little short. But all these Zegna shirts I found, oh, these mirrors. Uh, all these Zegna shirts I found, whole bunch of them, um, literally all of them. And Buttercloth, super good brand. I found like, I don't know how many are here, maybe eight, eight Zegna Buttercloth in that one brand. And these will all sell for probably $35 a shirt. They were all right there in the same rack. I went over to the jackets and the blazers because I'm like, oh, there's got to be Zegna blazers or something over there. There wasn't. I might have missed out on them or the thrift store kept them. I don't know. But I'm happy with that. That's a super easy uh, sell. And I'm going to get this mirror thing out of here. I'm not going to do it anymore. Um, how many items do you have in your store? So what's up, Southern Treasures? My store right now currently has about 1,350. About 1,350. Today, I took a ton of pictures probably 50 or 60 items worth. Um, and so I'm going to get that store up tomorrow. I'm going to take more pictures too. Uh, so hopefully get that store up over 1400, 1500 here again soon. The problem is it just, I mean, it's not a problem, but ever since I got auto posture, my stuff's been selling a lot. These you're not going to find. These were just a vintage pair of men's shorts. This is a golf course in Florida and uh, they still make golf apparel, but obviously these are vintage. And I'm like, someone's going to buy these. I mean, they have that cuff on the bottom. I picked them up for five bucks. Anytime I find these embroidered pants with like candy canes or um, hearts or whatever holiday theme, they always end up selling. And they usually sell for like 50 bucks. No Coogees today. Um, ever since I got what? Uh, Oliver, ever since I got what? Those are amazing. Uh, auto posture. Auto posture, yeah. So if you want to know what Autoposture is, um, there's a link in my bio. You can go to Autoposture. I can tell you what it is real quick, though. Um, it, for me and eBay. So I'm only speaking on part of uh, for eBay. It obviously does Poshmark. It's named after Poshmark. Uh, Macari, I think Depop and eBay. And you can sign up for it. And what it does on eBay for me, two things. Number one, if you have an item and after 31 days or 32 days or whatever it is, you have it relist if it doesn't sell, right? So it comes off and gets relisted as item number one, two. The, the skew on this item is one, two. The skew on this item is one, two. Well, two days before it gets relisted, Auto Posture takes it down and then lists it as a new item as item three, four. So it's a brand new item in your store. So it gets pushed up in the algorithms and so does your store. So people that have been looking for a Sims fishing shirt like this, it will pop up right there on their screen. That's number one. And I've had a ton of sales with that. Number two, you can send, it sends out best offers and auto offers to um, anyone that's watching your item or looks at your item for a certain amount of time, I think. 
Um, and you can determine how much you want to give them percent off. So I do, I was doing 10%, but I was getting at so many sales and my margin so small that I bumped it down to 5%. So basically, if someone's watching my item, they'll get a message and it'll say, hey, you can create the, the, uh, the message. Mine says something along the lines like, hey, I appreciate you taking the time to look at my item. Here's an extra 5% off if you want uh, to get the item right now. So thank you for the heart. Um, what size are those golf pants? I don't know. I'm gonna have to measure them. That old stuff, it doesn't say. Um, if I were to guess, I would say they're probably a 30 to 30, but there's room to be let out at the bottom. Uh, probably a 32 30, my guess. 32 30, or maybe 30 31, something like that. Is there a good sale? on the Joker ones you gave away. Oh man, no, that, those, I've been, I've been thinking about, so if you guys don't know, I did a little, a project today. I've been thinking about it for a while. So a lot of you guys know, um, you went thrifting with me maybe a month ago and we got a pair of Joker uh, Nike uh, Jordans. And I'm like, you know what? When, during the live, I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna buy these because Goodwill's been pricing up their stuff. I'm like, I'm gonna give them away to someone. I don't want them. I don't want to send them, sell them on eBay and get like the fake and get negative feedback. So I'm just going to buy them and give them away. So I've been thinking like, who should I give them away to? Then I'm like, you know what? They eat, uh, Goodwill's gotten rid of their um, veterans discount. Like I'm going to give these to um, or military discount. I'm going to give these to someone in the military, like someone who wants them that wears a size 10 and a half. And I made them prove that they were in the military and wore size 10 and a half. So that is what I did today. I'm not gonna show you all these, I have a short on them, but Patagonia, all these fishing. Anything that is vented in fishing sells really, really well in the spring and summer. So, sorry this is kind of skewed, but this is an Orvis. Um, Sims, trying to find some that you guys might not know. This is a hook, right here's a hook, and um, Here's the actual name right here, somewhere on here. Uh, and it's backwards, but it's H-U, H-U-K. I always, I thought it was Huck, but it's Huck. But if you look, there's a really cool pattern. See how it's gingham check with a swordfish? So anytime you find these fishing shirts that are all nylon or polyester, they do really well. It's worth picking them up if you pay five bucks or not. Um, Thanks, Kat. As nice Tory Burgess today. Uh, again, this was in that short. I'm not going to show you all this stuff. Um, again, I'm not going to pronounce the name of this. I'll let you guys. All I have to do is type it on on eBay and list it. So I don't care about the name. Now let's get to some other things. So let's go through some women's clothing. As you know, I've been diving into the women's clothing, and it's been fun and also a little bit. Uh, time consuming, I guess you could say, because I can't go through it really quickly because I don't know exactly. So I'm, I'm doing what a lot of people do these days that are new. They're looking it up on their phone. They're taking note in their head. Um, found an Orvis winter jacket today for a dollar fifty. Can't wait to list it this fall. Hey, if you have, if, if I always tell people, just because I list in the fall and winter doesn't mean you should. If if you are sitting there and you have nothing to list, I would list anything you have. Um, but if you have a ton of items to list, yeah, I would, I would hold it till fall if you have something like a pair of shorts that you could list right now that will sell this time of year better. Um, this pair of shorts, I don't know. I just ran across, literally like ran across them in one store, was in there super quick. I think it's the only thing I bought, but I felt them. I'm like, oh, those are for sure linen and they felt really good and I couldn't find a tag and I kind of looked down and it said Gucci. I'm like, what? The Gucci, and then I kind of look closely. I don't know if you can see. You can see, can you guys see thumbs up? They have like little the GGs, like in, woven in, not woven in, but like whatever, Schmigaford in to them. So they had the GGs, Schmigaford in, um, Gucci shorts. They were $3.99. I haven't looked up comps. I'm like, for four bucks, I'll take that lottery ticket all day long. Uh, I don't even have 100 items up yet. Working on that tonight and tomorrow though. Good, keep working. Um, Gucci, I know, right? And I paid $3.99. Thank you, Kat. Um, I found some fake Gucci today. Yeah, whenever I go to the bins, I find a lot of fake stuff. But, K I mentioned it in K-Way's live today. 
This is what I always tell people. In any part of business, in any part of life, you can't compare yourself to others. That will create jealousy. That will make you feel defeated. You can't do that. What you have to do is look up to them and maybe I want to be, maybe be envious of them instead of jealous of them. So I'm not going, I'm not going that route. What I'm saying is with my store, with someone's store who has 5,000 items or 1,300 items or 100 items, the goal for me every day is to sell 1% to 2% of all my items. So for me, that's selling 13 to 20 items a day. So if you have 100 items in your store and you're selling one or two items a day, that's exactly what I want to do every day. So you're right on track to what I want to do. You're just going to scale that store up. So don't compare yourself to other people. You might see this person made hundreds. This person sold 25 things today. I do my live packs and I sell 26 things. Don't compare yourself to that. I, I, my goal is 1% to 2% a day of my total store sold. So just keep that in mind. Um, Levi's denim jacket, just easy fall sale. I will save this for the fall, even though it could sell right now. Um, found fake Nike, I think double breasted pocket printed, can't find comps. Um, you got to look for the, just look for that little, uh, six digit code with the dash and three digits after that. It'll hopefully, hopefully find you. Um, uh, c find cool Nike. Well, when I find the cool Nike, I'm giving away. So this was a new brand to me. Rain Planet. Rain Planet. Have you guys heard of this brand? Thumbs up. Hey, thank you. Uh, thumbs up if you've heard of this brand. Have you guys heard of it? Or thumbs down. Because, like, I'm curious to know. How many of you guys know this brand? I never heard of it. I was doing a live. Um, yeah, I haven't. No, yeah. I don't know either. I was doing a live and people were like, hey. Like, pick up that brand. That's a good brand. So I did. I trusted the, the people in the live chat, which I love because you guys are probably right on there looking it up or you've sold it before. So no one's, no one's seen it. So I, I didn't even see this logo. I just saw this. And it looked kind of cheapy to me. Again, it's called, it's called Rail Raiders. R-A-I-L -R Raiders. Or no, Rail Riders. Sorry. Rail Riders. So like a railway and then riders, rail riders. Um, and they're basically, they just feel like uh, North Face nylon pants, hiking pants is exactly what they feel like. Yeah, so there's a new brand to us. Um, here's a brand you might not have heard of. These don't do super well. I actually was that guy in the store, which I shouldn't be that guy looking at men's clothes, but I am. Um, Fair Harbor, again, I know it's backwards, but I'm not doing the mirror because it, it throws me off. Um, Fair Harbor swim trunks. These sell well, and for four bucks, I can get twenty, twenty-two dollars out of these. I just forgot about these. I think I've only sold them once or twice before. I don't know about you guys. Um, are they skinny pants? I don't think so. I found a windbreaker made by them. Okay, so I think they're like an outdoorsy brand. Uh, it looks like a Planet Hollywood logo. That's exactly what I thought. That's why I thought it looked cheap. I have an antique Lionel train cars. Should I list each one or separately? Oh man, uh, over one hundred percent sell through rate. There you go. You need to pin that yourself, cat. Um, pin that stuff. Um, so there you go. 100% sell-through rate on that uh, raid, whatever they were. But um, I lost my train of thought. Uh, oh, the Lionel trains. So when I used to do estate sales and antiques, by the way, I did. Uh, I found a ton. Like every house sale... Unfortunately, it were like older people who passed away and their kids were doing, gave the estate to my dad and he would do the estate sale. Almost all of them had the trains in it. And it would be like the Santa Fe, like cast iron, really good ones from like the 50s, 60s. Um, the, the engines are worth more than the actual car. So anytime you have the locomotive engine, a lot of times it might just be worth selling that alone and then all the cars as a, as a, as a lot. So, or you can sell the whole thing. But a lot of times the locomotives are worth more and people just want those. They don't want all the cars. So hopefully that helps you with that. Um, we got this. I normally wouldn't pick up. This is a Saks Fifth Avenue. And I was hoping it would have a brand it doesn't. So it's a Saks Fifth Avenue uh, branded jacket. But it's cotton and linen. And it has never been 
unsealed uh, or unhemmed in the back. So if a suit jacket has never been unhemmed like this and it's in really good condition, what I actually do, especially if I don't find any signs of wear, I put new without tags. Because this is the first thing you take out when you're wearing a suit jacket. Because especially in the summertime, this gives you that air back there, if you know what I mean. So that I picked up. Mm, world's worst mod. It's okay. Um, he needs to make me a mod. You're right, I do. Um, nope. Sorry if you're watching this on YouTube later. Uh, confirm. TJ, you're always in my lives. Appreciate it. All right, TJ. All right, again, another blazer. Um, this one is a J. Crew. If you guys aren't on the J. Speaking about Lionel, if you're not on the J. Crew train when it comes to blazers, you guys are missing out, especially the Ludlows. I'm telling you right now, you're missing out. People pass over that stuff all the time. Missing out. Let's go over the women's stuff. This is actually I'm going to give to um, someone local. So here's a brand that I've never heard of, and someone in the live was like, oh, go back and get those. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce it. I'll let you guys. Agold? Agold? So, yeah, new tag for sure. 100% um, cashmere J. Crew men's blazer, 46XL. Perfect size. That thing's going to sell super quick. Um, how are you doing? How's everything going? How are the kids? How is sh shopping? Uh, good. Chocolate cake. I'm going to message you later a question about Zegna sweater I found. Yep. Message me. You guys know where to find me. And, and YouTube too later on if you're watching this later. Go to my link tree. You can message me. I answer all my messages. Um, but this is a brand I never heard of. You guys heard of it? Thumbs up, thumbs down. It's a women's brand. They said pick it up. So I'm guessing it's like a Judy Blues-ish. Um, what size Judy Blues should we buy? Bigger the better, I would say. Thank you. Uh, bigger the better for Judy Blues. Uh, I would say bigger the better for almost anything, men's or women's. Like, for example, these are extra small. So these would be good for like maybe that girl that girl that's going into middle school or whatever. But these are Athleta, Athleta. I always say them both together because I don't know the right word. And it's a newer version, so I can easily look up this model by looking that up and type it in and list it. So I got these, a nice perforated, but these are extra small. So what do you think of J. Crew jackets? Uh, what do you sell J. Crew? Oh, thank you. Um, what do I sell them for? So it all depends. This is a cotton or linen. If it's a cotton or linen, you can look at my eBay store and look up sold comps. I think I sell them between like 50 and 80 bucks. Um, but if it's like a tweed Ludlow, like I think KW found a moon tweed Ludlow. I know he did. Um, you can sell those for un over 100 um, if you find a full Ludlow suit, hundred bucks, more than a Hugo Boss suit. Let's keep going through the women's. Nothing special here other than Patagonia. I mean, nothing special to talk about. Size fourteen. These are like women's board shorts, I guess. Um, I don't know. You guys might know. I don't know what to call these, but I'll look them up. Um, I'll just put women's board shorts, but they're Patagonia. Dollar uh, ninety nine for those. They price them as kids. Thank you, Goodwill. I'll take that. Uh. Here you go, Kat, if you're still in here, this is a women's, but this is a brand that you guys might not see very often, but it's a good brand to pick up. They sell them at Nordstrom's. I've picked it up over the years, just a handful of times. Um, I don't think I've picked it up this year, but I know it's backwards, but it's PT01 or PT01. Um, right there is what it looks like. These are the traveler pants, and these things retail for like $200. Um, used, they go for around 50. I got two pairs of them, and they were five bucks a piece. So that's a brand to keep on the lookout for. Again, PT01, and you'll just know it. You'll look. At, you guys can go through the men's section, and you can see the pants, and you know if they're Hagger, you know if they're Allen Flusser, you know all that stuff. But you see something nice like that, you know it's something special. Uh, Patagucci. I know, Kayla. You guys call it Patagucci, and I think back in the day when I used to watch Rally Roots, I think I think they used to call it Patagucci too. Um, that's gonna be your guys' frame or uh, phrase, Patagucci. This is a brand that I've seen before and I think I picked it up, but I wasn't sure. But check out this dress. It's super, what is it? I don't know. I'm not, a, I don't know, chick style. 
but it's super that, right? Like hippie or boho something, midi dress something. But it's this, um, gosh, I feel like I'm gonna have to do it again. So it's this brand right here. Doop. Chalette something something, made in the USA. But I looked up comps and the dresses do pretty good. What would you guys call this? Patchwork Bohemian. Okay, Patchwork Bohemian. Again, it's mirrored. So, um, Patchwork, Patchwork, okay. So Patchwork, I should know that because I do men's Patchwork shirts. I actually just took a picture of an Orvis one today. Um, but yeah, that's a brand, I guess, that's decent. No? Um, so, since we are mirrored, let me get some brands that you guys might not know. So let's go ahead and do that. This brand during the live, this might be one of the best pickups of the week right here. It's women's. Avant-garde. Very 90s retro. Thank you, guys. I'm going to go back and rewatch this later. Thanks for the lightning bolt. Oh, thank you. All right. This brand right here. Women's brand. We were live. People were like, go back and get that brand. Women's. I've never seen it. This brand right here. Neely? Lotus? These... I mean, the stitching didn't look, these don't look like anything special. I don't understand. They don't look like anything special. But I don't know, look up, I haven't even looked up the comps. I literally just took everything out of the bags and I'm inventorying it right now. So, have you guys heard of this brand right here? I don't know, yes. I like seeing women's stuff. All right, Ashley, I'm gonna keep showing women's stuff because I'm new to it too. I'm new to women's stuff, but I have plenty of men's. But anyways, I think these sell for a lot. I don't know. People in the chat were all about it. While it's flipped, let me show you a couple other good brands. Ugh. Going way down here. Way down here. So, I uh, sold polo. Oh, I sold some polo jeans. How about that? Um, $120 comp. See, there you go. They sell for $850. Um, yeah, so... New to me, new to you. That's why we're here. That's why we're here. This might be a new to you brand. It might not be. But I found two pairs right next to each other. And I'm glad I found this because people always ask me this. So if you're watching this later on YouTube, pay attention. So Naked and Famous. Naked and Famous is a super good brand if they are especially, they kind of come off a little bit. But if you can find them in selvage denim. And they told me they were selvage right away because you see the red line right there. You pick up the hems and you look at the stitching. If it has those red lines, that's how you know that it's selvage. So these are raw denim is what they call them. These are super rigid. They're actually meant not to be washed. They're super rigid, um, raw denim, um, famous, or naked and famous. So I found, actually I found two of these. So right next to each other and a very heavily thrifted thrift store I don't know how I found them, and they weren't even on a cart. They were on the racks. So, boom, boom. I don't know if you guys have found these. Knee, yeah, everyone's still on that. Yes, never wash these is what people say. Yeah, that's the raw denim. You see someone had a, it doesn't matter if there's a wallet there, whatever. Um, they still will sell. So, I, I think I have one in my store, but they're not selvaged. So, anytime I find selvage, just add up, add up the price. Um, this brand right here, again, I'm doing this with the mirrors so you, you get these. Flint and Tender, if you've never heard of it, it's a really good brand to pick up. I think a lot of you know of it by now. Um, thumbs up, what do you guys think? Um, how do you clean them? Ew, how, how do I clean what? Oh, the, uh, those? I don't know. Those don't smell. I don't think they've been worn very much, but I don't know. You have to ask the people that wear those types of jeans. But Flint and Tender, good brand. Found these the other day. Thanks for the roses. Here's another one. I just found, I don't know, maybe I'm an idiot. You're an idiot. Yeah, I know. Um, I've never found this brand before. And I found it t yesterday, I think. P-R-P-S. P-R-P-S. Have you guys heard of this brand? Uh, ever sell Brax? Yes, Brax is super good. Yep, P-R-P-S. Yep, Brax is a super good brand to sell. Perps, uh, it's great. Yeah, it's a good brand. So here's the label. And then on the inside pocket, it had more. 
Like it told you, it told you the actual like name of them, the demon. And some of them sell for a ton of money. So it's one of those occasions where like, if the sold comps are like 28, 35, 75, 85, 60, like I'm gonna buy them. They're gonna be over $28, so I'm gonna pick them up. Um, they're black, they have this crazy wash on them. So I picked those up today. That's why I wanna show you some of these that are newer. Um, and now we're gonna get back to the women's brands. So I'm gonna flip this mug back around and I'll just tell you. Um, that's around 149. Yeah, I have no, decent, sold quick, panhandle. I found a decent, sold quick, uh, panhandle slim. Panhandle slim, they're like the Pearl Snap Western shirts I think you're talking about, right? Um, those are good. So yeah, they, they do they do okay for me. Um, I'm gonna try these out. This is a pair of jeans I never picked up before. Only picked them up new with tags. They do really well for a K-Way. So I thought, I'm gonna give them a try. So I'm gonna give them a fair try. Mavi jeans, um, they're dark washed. They were a good size and they're in good condition. So where I thrift, these are $8. My jeans are $8. So these I'm gonna have to sell for around $22 plus buyer pays shipping, which is probably, if you pay shipping, probably around $30, $32. Um, so I'm gonna give those a shot. Those are going in the winter pile. Uh, Mavi, okay, K, way, don't know, nothing. I'm not gonna say that because I didn't, uh, you know, it's for the kitties out there on YouTube. Hi, kids. Um, are Hugo Boss jeans good? Not sure if I have girls or guys. So actually Hugo Boss jeans, they usually have a, on the tag like Alabama or like Oklahoma. They have like different states as their names that I found and they don't do well for me. I have two sitting in my shop and they're really good sizes. I, they, I don't know why they're, they're not selling for me. Affliction jeans, cannot believe Goodwill didn't price these at $20. But here's some Affliction jeans, pick these up like just under Rock Revival, but super good. Here's a new to me too. Again, always trying something new. So here is Can Can. How many of you guys pick up Can Can? How many of you ladies pick up Can Can? So I don't like the angle of this. Makes me look like I have a freaking double chin. Dang, I need to go work out. The PE teacher who doesn't work out. That's me, 2023. Um, never, nope. So one thumbs up, no, Kayla, all right. So the reason I picked these can can up, and you know we all see them all the time, I'm gonna show you why. You tell me, you're gonna say, oh, that's why. Number one, they're long. Number two, check this out. Whoop. Yep. Super duper flared. So they were black washed, and I look, I saw how flared they were, and you guys know flared is super in right now, and they're super long. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna look up can can flare. Um, Black, they're black, and the comps were good. So I'm like, I'm gonna pick them up, I'm gonna list them right now, because flare's in, and by July, flare's out. So I have to list them right now. And if you don't know, if you're watching this later, it's June. Um, Bell is in your right. Bell, what size are they? Size flare, but they also have that super stretchy waist. So if I were a chick, I would love these. Especially, have you guys heard of Fogo de Chow? It's my favorite restaurant. So Father's Day's coming, honey, Father's Day. Fogo de Chow. Um, high, rife, high rise flare, size 30. So size 30, high rise flare. Anyways, but they could be 32 if you ate a lot that night. Um, women's love Judy Blues, usually love a uh, Cam Cam. Yeah, that's what I've heard before. Um, is Lauren Ralph Lauren as good as Polo? I don't think it is. P Lauren Ralph Lauren is sold at like Dillard's and Macy's usually. So Polo Ralph Lauren is better. But women's um, is mostly Lauren Ralph Lauren. There's not as much Polo Ralph Lauren. I'll show you one I picked up this week. So here is a women's. Never mind. I don't know where it is. But I picked one up this week. Well. Here's this at least. So here's your Lauren Ralph Lauren. So Lauren Ralph Lauren is what I usually see. New with tags. We were live thrifting. You guys remember this one? I don't know if you're in here. Um, but this is a romper, right? I know that. My wife, my wife tells me these things. This is a romper. 
and it's all red. It was 10 bucks. I'm like, you know what? A size medium. I think, I, I, I don't know. I'm trying. I'm trying with the women's stuff. It's classy, right? Uh, do you pick up Polo Ralph University suits? Only if they're gold button. The only time I'll pick up uh, Polo Ralph, uh, Polo University is if they're gold button blazers. So gold button blazers, any, any Lauren Ralph Lauren, any Polo Ralph Lauren, any uh, Polo University with the gold buttons, I'll pick those up. Um, jumper. It's a jumper? It's not, what did I call it? I don't even remember. So cute for Christmas. Okay. So I'm going to take it out of the spring pile and put it in the winter pile. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Here are a couple brands that you might not have ever heard of. Do you guys know what this brand is? Anyone in the chat? Name it if you do. So it has these buttons all across it. I think it's reversible. I don't know, but I got two of them. They're crazy. Look at these things. It's like zippers and all sorts of stuff. They were just screaming, right? You see these on the cart, you're like, oh my gosh, what are these? Um, what are they? Romper is shorts. I picked up a cool women's full zip, new with tag, getting into women's clothing. Yeah, me too. Um, cute, crazy is good. Yeah, crazy is good. Would you be interested in making a YouTube video about girls' clothing? No, I wouldn't. I'm no ex I feel like I'm as expert as I can be in, in men's, but definitely not women's. I'm learning. I, yeah, so what size skirts? I don't know what size these are, but I'm going to tell you the brand when I find them because they screamed, and I, so I just looked to see if they had a brand tag. I thought maybe they were homemade, but they weren't. And the brand is called Zand, Z-A-N-D Amsterdam. So that's what it looks like. Zand Amsterdam, right there. I looked them up and they sold for whatever. I think it was like 20 something, 30 something dollars. So I just picked them both up. Um, again, women's new to me. We're still going through women's stuff, by the way, because it's new to me. Um, we'll set your lightning bolt goal. Sin, yeah. Oh, my moderator's here now. My 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 chat GDP moderator. So Beyond Yoga, again, this is a brand I picked up over the winter time. They do well now for me. Um, Beyond Yoga, I picked these up. Thanks, Flippin' Nurse. Appreciate it. There you go. Bullseye. So um, is Robert Graham's shirt in? Yes. So I felt again when I first started, Robert Graham was a highlight. Then it, I felt like it kind of came down and it's kind of back up again. Like Robert Graham's do really, really well. They bring, you should not get less than $30 for a Robert Graham shirt. And if it's crazy, you could get two, uh, $100 for it. So anyways, Beyond Yoga, there's your logo. Again, these are super small. I found those with the Athleta pants earlier. I pick, anytime I see Spanx, I pick them up at their pants. Um, Kayla told me about shirts before that they don't sell well and I looked them up and she was right. So these are just Spanx jeans, little cutoff on the bottom. I'm, I'm, they'll have to go in my winter stack because I have skirts and stuff to sell. Um, Spanx, I know, Spanx. And Kayla, didn't you say that the uh, shirts don't go for as much? And they don't, you're right. Here's a brand that I tell people I never pick up unless. And this is one of those brands I don't pick up unless there's something special about it. So. This jacket was $6, not $10, not $14, so it was six, okay? The brand is Columbia. It's a women's and it's a 3X. So it's a women's Columbia with this super, like whatever, what do they call it, Omni Heat? It's a 3X, it was $6. So big Columbia, good condition, no stains, $6, exception. I will pick this up. So there's the exception for Columbia. There's always an exception. Um, I'm sticking with the women's. Sticking with the women's. More Athleta Athleta. And these are large tall. I've never seen large tall. I haven't been looking that long to be honest, but I've never seen large tall in women's. So large tall women's, nice. I always do a crotch check. Crotch check, good. Karina says she has that jacket. She paid 
Oh, that Columbia, yeah. I mean, Columbia sells well and whatever, but our thrift stores have been pricing it up and I'm used to the men's Columbia. The men's Columbia does not do as well. The PFG stuff, it used to do well. Then like Hook came out and all these other brands, Sims. So they just don't do as much. I wasn't gonna buy these True Religion, but they had a flare at the bottom or boot cut. And they were, I bought them, um, obviously. So those will sell. Let me see, some True Religion. I know, Flippin' Nurse. I, True Religion was like the brand back when I started, but I bought them. They were $7.99. I'm surprised they're getting Goodwill priced them at that. Lafayette 148, denim blazer or denim jacket, whatever it is, it's for women. I just know this is a good brand, right? What size are those Spanx? Huh? What size are those Spanx? The Spanx? Yeah, I put them in the winter pile. They are a size medium. I have so many Spanx. Thank you very much. I have so many Spanx that I have not listed because they're my winter stacks. Because I have all I have spring and summer stuff that go before it. Here's a new brand. Uh, well, I'll show you this real quick. Eileen Fisher. Eileen Fisher. Again, what is this called? Moderator romper. What? No, that's a that's like a jumpsuit. A jumpsuit. This is a jumpsuit. So. Eileen Fisher jumpsuit is what this is. And I bought it. Oh, that's nice. Five bucks. Huh? That's Good nice. pickup? It's nice. Don't look at it. It's like a capri. You can't have it. All right. Yeah, Eileen. Yeah. Um, I have a pair of Spanx jeans I got on Poshmark. They are so comfy. Yeah. Yep. Uh-oh. Look, someone knows. Someone, someone knows. So she I found. Huh? She in your live? You Were you in my live? I found two of them last week, but not in these stripes. This is a new brand. I want to flip it around, but I'm not going to, because then I'll be doing one of these. But it's K Deer. It's K Deer. Again, women's. How many brands of leggings do they make in women's? Five hundred. Oh my god, so many. Five hundred brands of leggings. If they went made men's leggings, there would be five. Women's there are five hundred, and this is one of them that I found that is worth money. Again, I did research at the thrift store on my own and found that they were worth money. So that's the logo. She was not in your life and she knew it. Look at oh, that. you knew it. Yeah, this is what they're known for, right? This is what they're known for. The ones I found last week were both black, all black. But when I looked them up, I saw a lot of that stuff. Nothing special here. American Eagle, new with tags, jeans. If they're new with tags, I'll pick them up. American Eagle jeans, if they're new with tags, men's and women's. Uh, thank you for the heart. So let me, I'm gonna. Bed bugs question. Oh gosh. What do you guys want to know about the bed bugs? Aren't you worried about them? Um, I'm not. So, I'm Thank not. Thank you for your heart. Yeah, I know. Thank you for my heart. Um, what's up, Jason Hayes? Um, talked about your spreadsheet earlier. Uh, this is a Lafayette 148 again, and this is leather. Uh, the whole thing, the whole thing is leather. It was six bucks. Again, I'm venturing out, guys. I know I'm in stuff, right? I'm venturing out, so I'm doing the surf up method on stuff, and I'm doing women's stuff. Before I cross over to any more platforms, I'm going to get these this knowledge down and try to perfect it as best I can, and then I don't. Line Creek says, what's going on? What's up, Line Creek? I got something for you. Oh, right here. So, Line Creek, you can appreciate this. Titleist, TS. It was only three bucks. Uh, the lady was like, is that a boxing glove? I'm like, no. So it was three bucks. You know exactly what I can get for it. I don't off the lookup comps. You probably know right off the top of your head. But anything Titleist, Ping, um, Tailor Made, uh, I pick up especially leather like this is good. So yeah, boxing glove, right? Maybe 20 bucks. It was $3. Whatever, if it doesn't, if, if I don't sell it, I'll use it as a head cover for myself. For those of you who don't know, it's a head cover for your um, golf club. So probably like a three, maybe not a driver, maybe a driver. Uh, again, winter time, I picked these up now. Eddie Bauer's not the best brand at all, but when it's a down jacket, this is a 2XL down. Um, I picked it up, it was $10. These aren't the best seller, but I can sell these in the winter for like 35 bucks uh, pretty quick. So, 
Avion Fit are my new favorite leggings and swim. Oh, Albion Fit. I don't know that. I don't know that. Is that a new brand? Um, just a cover for a club? Yeah. It's just a club cover. I found this with it too. And this was in a live. Some, I was like, oh, there's a Land Rover. People who drive, you know, Land Rovers, like their hats, whatever. It was it's brand new, has a thing inside of it and everything. And people were like, hey, that sells for like $25 in the chat. When I'm doing my live thrifting, I can't look at comps. So I have to rely on you guys. And again, I call it a lottery ticket. I'm going to buy this dollar lottery ticket and see what it yields me. I'm fine with that lottery ticket right there. Stephanie so. gets your personality. She says, no glove, no love. That's what I've heard. <laughs> uh, Shelby, this is, this is, this is, I can't be nasty. No glove, no love. That's right, golf clubs. No, no love, no love. So, Athleta, Athleta, again, it's another one of those tall ones. Uh, 14T. And this kind of reminded me of the Prana. You know those Prana hiking women's pants? These remind me just of them. They actually have a jogger at the bottom. But I sold a pair recently, and they, they sold for over 20. So, I'm getting better with my women's clothing. Here you go. You guys all know these are great. So Sherpa lined. Um, this is more of a vintage because it has these numbers right here. Sherpa lined denim trucker jacket. And it's a great size. It's an extra large. So this will be easy $80 in the fall. So this will go in my fall and winter. Um, again, this time of year, all my sales, if you watch me do my live packing, all my sales are like, 17 to 30 dollars but once winter comes that's when my asp starts really going up do you ever buy fake designer i really try not to um to be honest i don't see a lot of designer and if i do i kind of stay right away from it i did get those gucci shorts earlier because i felt like they were real they were the linen was good they didn't scream anything fake the stitching looked really good little little things like that so this is an L.L. Bean flannel lined corduroy blazer. It's a mouthful, but I've never find, I've never ever found a flannel lined corduroy blazer. It's a little bit older of an L.L. Bean tag. So L.L. Bean is definitely better than Eddie Bauer. Uh, so again, I think this will sell for probably like close to 40 around fall. I mean, does that not scream fall? It screams fall. I want the large longer lanes. Um, you had earlier, please. How do I get them? Uh, if there's anything you guys really, really like or whatever, just message me um, in my, in my uh, Instagram. So my link tree, I have my Instagram on there, my YouTube channel, everything, it's on there. In fact, um, this week someone bought these. I'm shipping. I'm actually going to ship them out tonight. It's North Face. And uh, she messaged me and said she wanted them. So uh, selling this to her, and I'm actually shipping it out tonight to, to her. And... These to someone special. Someone that I was tapping all last week. Here are some Tommy Bahama new tag jeans. Yes, I said it, Tommy Bahama. But new tag jeans, eight bucks. Obviously, I'm gonna buy them for eight bucks. Um, Tommy Bahama jeans that aren't new tags, I passed up eight of them this morning at a thrift store. Eight of them I passed up for eight dollars a piece. That's where I'm at with Tommy Bahama jeans. I don't pick them up. Um, it could, that could be a surf's up way, maybe. The problem with jeans that I see with surf's up are jeans expand a lot, and you're gonna have to get like good inseam. People want the rise, they want a lot more measurements, and I'm, I'm not willing to give them that time for the surf's up method. So 5'11 tactical pants. Uh, these are the, my better pair that I like to sell. The, the cargos are like a slash pocket. They sell better uh, for me than the others. See how a lot of them have that like that cotton thing here that always droops. They don't sell as well as these. So I bought two pairs of those and a pair of 511 tactical shorts, new with tags for $3.99. Um, another women's brand, better brand. And to go along with this, I found a pair of better brand shoes. Is it better brand? Beta brand, better brand. Have you guys ever found their shoes? They're like, to this brand right here, I found them this week. What do you guys think? Um, Ripstop, yep, Ripstop. Tommy Jean size. Um, did I get Tommy Jeans? Oh, uh, these, 
Uh, they are, well, I can look at the new tags, right? They'll tell me. They are size 35, 34. So uh, awkward size with the 35, but 34, I always prefer a longer length than jeans, always. Um, I tell people that all the time because it fits everybody. So if you buy a 34, 38, that's perfect because there's gonna be really tall people out there that want those and then anyone else can hem them up. If you find a 34, 28, you're only looking at one set of people, shorter people. Uh, beta, like that fish, beta. Remember Rico? I had a beta yeah, fish. Rico. He died after college. We had a funeral. It was a whole thing. So, uh, but yeah, I did find the shoes. I left them behind. Um, the comps weren't great. They were, they were like um, mule, um, what do they call those women's shoes? I don't freaking know. Mules or so, not mules, clogs, mules, booties, booties. They were booties, uh, b beta brand booties. I didn't pick them up. So intercoastal Southern Tide, I picked that up. I don't pick up all Southern Tide. It has to be polyester blend. Here are another pair of 511 pants. Here's polar rough worn, but this is women's. So I sold a, a shirt the other day. That was women's. This is a women's hoodie. Perfect for this time of year. Size medium. It definitely throws you off because that looks just like the men's tag, but it's always a little bit smaller. So pick this up. Floral. I will sell this this time of year, even though it's long sleeve. Yes, mules. I just found Beta Brand leggings. Um, they're sitting there. Yep. Beta Brand. I have quite a few of those to list. Hopefully those don't go to style. Um, Johnny O. So anytime you find a major league baseball team, um, that is on a nice, like a Johnny O or, or a Vineyard Vines or a Peter Millar or anything, those are always really good sellers. So especially a team like the St. Louis Cardinals, huge following the Cubs, the Cardinals, the Dodgers, the Yankees. Anytime you find teams like that, Johnny Yell, Vineyard Vines, you have to pick it up. I would have even, that was $5. I would have paid $10 for that shirt. That will sell for over 30. This one might be a yes, this one might be a no, but it's Neiman Marcus. Really, if it's a nicer brand and it's 100% cashmere, I pick it up. Um, it's five bucks. I know, I, I'm pretty sure I can sell this for around 30 in the winter, even though it's women's. Um, I've been doing that for a while, like J. Crew, doing that for a few years. Um, so, that's, is that, have you ever got, again, five, this is one of 500 pairs of leggings that women's have. Vineyard Vine leggings. Have you ever found those? I haven't. I've been doing it a long time. I look at every cart that comes out that I see. I have not find, found Vineyard Vine leggings. I didn't know they made them. Again, extra small. So again, probably for like that girl going into middle school or something. I don't know, I picked them up. What do you price 511 shorts and pants? Uh, shorts and pants. So, um, some of the pants do better than others where I price them at like, uh, 30 bucks, but a, most of them I price at like 22 or $23. Everything I sell buyer pays shipping. So just keep that in mind. Um, this is definitely a Bolo brand plant. This is the second time that I found it. This is the third item I found the first time I found two, but this brand right here does really well. They're black women's joggers so this brand i sold both of my both of mine you can look at my ebay store you guys know i'm transparent look at my ebay store look at sold comps i've sold two in the past 90 days and i think both of them were 50 or dollars or more 50 dollars or more for that brand uh those were five dollars i actually found these in like not a great part of town so i don't know this is also a brand i don't usually pick up in women's unless it's pants but prana or piranha however people pronounce it. I spell it P-R-A-N-A -A when I type it in on eBay, and that's how I find it. And uh, this is just a down women's whatever jacket, and it was $5.99, and I will sell it in the winter. That will go into the sell later pile. I found Lily Pulitzer leggings too, which I didn't realize they sold them. I didn't either. I love Lily Pulitzer, I think we all do, to sell, maybe to wear. I didn't know they had those either. Peter Millar shorts, you guys know these. Cottons, these are a search up method too for me. 
I only make about 10 to $12 on these. Um, and I have a lot less than sold. So is a yoga term. Is it piranha or, or is it prana? Decide right now. Decide right now. I wish I, I wish I knew how to do like. There's uh, a pole on the bottom. Is there a pole? Do it. I want a pole. Is it piranha or is it prana? Oh, wait. Why does it say should, should surf up do a live with Kayway? Uh oh, we will. Um, what size is the Pinot Millar? Um, thirty five. So these sh or thirty eight. These are thirty eight. Size thirty eight. So, here is a Ralph Lauren linen shirt. Uh, again, I love Ralph Lauren linen. Ralph Lauren is my very favorite brand to pick up. Obviously, I'd much rather pick up um, Arterex every day or like figs every day, but Ralph Lauren, there's so many types. So here are a pair of figs, uh, need no, needs no explanation. The Lululemon of scrubs, the Lululemon of scrubs. So these will sell for around $24, these are men's. Uh, Cambray, Chambray, again, tomatoes, tomatoes, I forget. But whenever I find J. Crew. Um, Cambray, I always pick it up. These sell for around $22 for me, plus fire pay shipping. They ship out first class. Uh, per, prana, not the fish. That's what I thought. Prana, that's what I've always thought. Prana, prana. But K-Way always says piranha. And I'm like, well, he's been doing it like I have. Maybe it is prana, I don't know. I think I, I just put a pull up. I don't know what that means, but I think I just- You did? Well, um, this is not a source of methods because it's new with tags, $5, nothing there. A butler, I'm only gonna show you guys stuff that you'll wanna see and wanna pick up. This is a butler, it's a local school. You probably have heard of it. Um, just a basketball jersey. Here's something I always pick up, a lot of people skip over. Lauren Ralph Lauren, and I know there's a little spot right here. I'm gonna wash them. But Lauren Ralph Lauren um, sweatpants, they cannot be the pajamas, they have to be the sweatpants with the tag like that or the newer tag. They cannot be pajamas. They have to have the nice, heavy uh, pant. So pajamas don't work, these do. So these I need to wash, honey. <laughs> right. Um, North Face, uh, again, in Patagonia, they call these the better sweaters. In North Face, I don't know what they're called, but it's that same thing, the better sweater um, type of North Face, really clean, really nice looking. Um, and I feel like it's never been worn. There's no sign to wear. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna list it as uh, used, but I feel like it's just super good condition. You just know for doing this after a while, like when the sleeves are stuck together and everything, like the folds are there, I feel like it's never been worn. Somebody asked what chambray is. Hey Justin, it does smell good in here. Sh uh, sham wow. So here's, you just asked, What's chambray? Well, I'm here to tell them. I'm here to tell Can you. Can you explain what it is, really? Yes. Okay. So, sham chambray, chambray is like a denim-looking shirt. It feels like linen, but it's cotton. So, you see how it's blue? It feels like a denim shirt that's been washed a million times. That's what it. That's what it is. Um, this is a denim and supply one, and this happens to be new with tags. And I paid five dollars for it, so I was pretty proud of that. Again, look at the cost on that one. MSRP, eighty bucks. And Denim and Supply is a good brand. Again, a Polo Ralph Lauren. They come in so many shapes and sizes. Um, if that helps, yeah. Super soft denim score, yeah. What better sale? What's better, Aloe or Lululemon? Lululemon for me, I'd say. Per se, I mean, I can't cheat on my own brand. But you also don't see a lot of that. I don't. There we go. Should Surf's Up do a live with K-Way? That was up there from, like, I think last time or something. Oh. Um, prana. Okay. Guys, this is not a Surf's Up. You need to buy these anytime you find them. These Polo Ralph Lauren, they're called, like, I wouldn't call them Mexican blanket. They're, like, Southwestern blankets or whatever. I know you've seen them, but they have that, like, material that is looks like those Mexican blankets you see at like gas stations when you go on road trips, right? 
Um, these always sell super well for me in the 20s all the time. I mean, like every time I buy them, they sell for in the 20s. I don't find them that often, which means there are not that many of them out there. Like a poncho. Yeah, like a poncho. Or as Casey says, a Schmiga 4. Schmiga 4. Schmiga 4, it's exactly what it is. It's a Schmiga 4. I'm going to say that for everything, and people new coming in are going to be like, this dude, like, how is he a teacher? I'm, I'm, I'm pulling my kids from school. Don't worry, I don't teach anymore. <laughs> so this is Duluth 3XL, and it's wool. It reminded me. I passed this over one of the days with light thrifting. Another day we went back, they were both still there. There were two of them. They're 3XL, which isn't unheard of with Duluth, but they were wool. So they reminded me of like, um, like of a smart wool or like um, Patagonia wool, like a base layer. I haven't seen that. So uh, I picked them up again, obviously. Is Corey a good brand for you? C-O-U-R-I. Um, Corey. I think maybe they meant Viore. But they Viore. Viore is. I don't know Corey. Um, yeah, Viore, good for you. Yes, Viore. So three, my favorite three men's workout brands, because I've been showing you a lot of women's stuff. Um, I have a ton of men's stuff too, but I've been trying to do women's. But uh, for men's, I would say right now, June 2023, Viore for me is on top. Lululemon, Roan. Viore, Lululemon, Roan. Obviously, it depends on like how old it is, but that's where I think everything is right now. I feel like Lululemon, I find way more than anything uh, than, than uh, Viore. So I just found this today. Peter Millar, new with tags. So, and it's Peter Millar crown for five bucks. So really good pickup for five bucks. That's gonna be selling. Again, I don't get Southern Tide unless it's a performance. This is a Southern Tide. They call it Tide the Trail. I'm sure you guys have seen it before, but it's that performance. It's five bucks. I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. So this is five bucks. Southern Tide, you'll look for that little dude right there. Again, I do not recommend picking up all Southern Tide. I don't pick up barely any of it unless it's a performance version. Brewbags so, asked Roan, R-O-W-N. It's R-H-O-N-E, right? R-H-O-N-E. So Roan is R-H-O-N-E. What I would do is, like, if you're watching TV, go on your phone, look up eBay, look up sold comps, and just browse through it. You'll see a lot of stuff. They changed their label, though, guys. Not their marking, but their, their tag on there. It's, it's like just an R. It doesn't look like the old one. But here's a Polo Ralph Lauren. Again, my favorite brand. Linen, large, tall, with super cool color block colors, which would have sold a lot more like three or four years ago when color block was super in, but I still think I can get over 30 for that. Um, here are two things. I'm only gonna go over the, the next items. I have more items, but I'm only gonna go over ones that are unique, right? So anytime I find a champion crew neck sweatshirt that is an Ivy League college or like a well, well-known national college like Notre Dame or Stanford or something like that, UCLA, I pick them up if they're five bucks. So Cornell uh, University, Ivy League school, I pick that one up. This one I don't think is Ivy League, but it's right up there. A lot of smart people go there. Uh, but John Hopkins. So John Hopkins, um, champion. Again, these always sell like Close, they're around 30 bucks. Sometimes I can get 40 for them if they're like a Harvard or something else. Speaking of champion, Derby City Flip said, are champion reverse weave hoodies still worth the pickup? I like the crew neck. So I like the crew neck. And honestly, the, the way I go by this, you guys might have been with me. So I've really met a really cool guy that's local that does Depop and McCar all like vintage stuff only. He only does vintage stuff. He kind of knows what's in and like the, the sweatshirts with the hoodies don't do as well. It has to be a crew neck like this and it has to be, yeah, the reverse weaves do really well. These aren't reverse weaves. The reverse weaves do better than these. Teresa C wants to know if you can mirror. <laughs> mirror. Like I'm assuming your screen. You hate it. I will for this one brand just because you guys might not know it. And so it's like one of the best golfing brands right now. So that's why... It, oh, dang it. I always do that. Jeez, quit being 37. Um, so if you missed some of this earlier, 
I've been mirroring some stuff. This will be on YouTube later. Uh, but this brand right here, when I, I did a golf brand polo video, I snuck onto um, Bridgewater, a course here that's private. It's like the nicest course around here. I snuck in the shop. I looked up all the stuff. And this was one of the brands that were in there. Um, Holderness and Bourne or something like that. But this is this is like a rowback right now. This is one of those they just came out with the last couple of years, golf polos, golf wear. And they do really, really well. These are a pair of shorts. See, I can't. I'm not going to. It's awful. What do you want to see that John Hopkins? Oh, look, I can read everything perfectly. All right, let's see if we can do this. I'm going to master it. Polo Ralph Lauren. You know I love it. I'm not gonna go over it though. So this, these are good guys. A lot of times I don't pick up uh, these sweatshirts unless they have the pockets at the bottom. So these have the pockets, so they're a little bit thicker. The fleece in the middle is thicker, thicker. Rochelle says, love this, financial freedom. Financial freedom, man. I love financial freedom. I mean, so Mountain Khaki, I love Mountain Khaki, especially if it's a, um, again, a performance Mountain Khaki. So this is like a polyester line, uh, Nylon, nylon. Um, Nike Pro, I normally don't buy this. And our Goodwills have been pricing up anything Nike. Um, this one, they didn't. I've been seeing that some of our Goodwills are like in certain regions now where they haven't been pricing up as much. But this is a 2XLT. 2XLT, long sleeve, Nike Pro Combat. And so I picked it up for five bucks. Normally I don't pick these up. I don't recommend it necessarily. Uh, Teresa says, these are some new brands for me. Good, Teresa. See, I told you tonight, I'm going to have some new brands. I'm going to have some new brands. Let's see if I have more. Peter Millar, not a new brand. But I picked this up. These are now Source Up Method. I list these, sell these. I, if they're just a plain Jane like this with a little logo on them, I'm only trying to make like $15, $20 on them. Harley Davidson, everyone knows. You find Harley for five bucks, you pick it up. So Harley Davidson, long sleeve with a nice little hit on the back. And of course you find one, you find two. So another Harley Davidson, nice graphic on the back, white shirt, button up. Um, I think it has a, yeah, nice little pocket. Harley right here, five bucks. Anytime I pick up and you guys pick, you guys know. I'm not telling you guys anything Somebody new. Somebody asked, what was that golf brand again? Holderness and... Hol Holderness and Bourne. I'll, I'll grab it real quick because that is a good one to be on the lookout for. And while you're looking for it, somebody asked if we're seeing the Smoky Haze from Canada. It's actually better than it was. Yeah, but I saw like, of course, I have I have the, um, the um, what is it? National Weather Service app. Oh, uh, like air quality? Yeah, national, whatever it is. Like the weather app or whatever. Um, I'm sponsored by them and no, I'm not. And it never loads, but it said it's coming back into our area. Like, Ooh, but yeah, we have seen it. It hasn't been around for a while. I can't find those shorts now. Yeah. Just kidding. I found them. So yeah, you can screenshot this screenshot it. Cause this is a super good brand. I don't find it very often. I don't find it very often. So that's a good brand to look for. Like, those polos go for, look them up on, they're Roback. They're like 40, 50 bucks um, used. Asked, what about uh, Harley-Davidson clothing with specific stores on them? Okay, so Harley-Davidson t-shirts, guys, what do you guys, thumbs up, thumbs down. They have been, t-shirts have been, unless they're vintage, going downhill for me. So everyone goes to like Puerto Rico or Denver or whatever and they buy their Harley shirts. I feel like that market's getting a little saturated. People aren't buying them like they were. They still sell for me, but if they're just a t-shirt, I'll pay $1.99 and do like a surf up with it. I have not looked this up yet, but it had nice metal buttons. I've never seen this brand before. Metal buttons. This is the brand, Wyoming Traders. Um, I don't know if I'll ever see it again, but it had this little logo right here and people in the chat said it's good. So I got it. I think it was $3.99, it was $4.99. So I picked it up. Bruce says Ralph Lauren, uh, so Lauren Ralph Lauren jeans just sold. Ralph Lauren is hot right now. Ralph Lauren is, man. I'm telling you, go to TJ Maxx and look how much they're selling that stuff for. Way more than they used to. I'm so surprised. I, I do my research. And I also went to Costco this week. By the way, I went to Costco and like Spider, Hurley, 
Orvis. Banana Republic. Banana Republic. They're selling all these brands for dirt cheap, but they're only certain styles, obviously, and they're cheaper, you can tell. But be on the lookout for that. Somebody said they picked up a Peter Millar Scotty camera for $2. What do you think I should price it? Um, price it for $5 and just send it to me. I'll buy it from you. Scotty Cameron and Peter Millar's go for like $150. $150? Yeah. Scotty Cameron and Peter Millar polos go for like $150. Bucks. Look them up. They're crazy. I never found one. Never found one. Untuck it. Nothing new to you guys. Um, white shirt. Looks like it's never been worn. That was so quick. Um, these are really good finds. If you guys ever find, that's why go to Suits and Blazers. Um, again, this is mirrored. Look at me, I'm making it through. Aren't you proud? This is a Duluth. Duluth trading, dang it, right when I said that. Duluth trading, super heavy, canvassy, <laughs> just like these fire hose pants that I buy all the time. So same type of material. So I buy these all the time. These are becoming a surf up method type of uh, clothing too because I sell them all the time. So it takes me like two or three minutes to list them. It tells the size right on them. Glendon Oasis says, Ralph Lauren is doing less promotions now, so prices are going up. That makes sense. So as we see a lot of these brands, for example, um, was it Messin and Main? They, they're doing a lot like three for a hundred. Um, I remember when Charles Twyworth or whatever it was started doing that. And that just washes the brand down. Ralph Lauren's smart. They're doing the opposite. Let's go through a couple more. JC so, says they sold a Gucci blazer this morning for $130. Dang! Did it scream yeah, Gucci? Yeah, screaming Gucci is the question. I, I, bet it, I bet it wasn't even. So chubby shorts, perfect time of year for a chubby, I mean chubby shorts. <laughs> so I tell people all the time, people look for Shelby. People in the chat, aren't there styles of clothing that you get and you're like, man, I want that again. I've worn it out. And you look and they don't make it anymore. Just like when restaurants stop making like your favorite dish and you're like so mad about it. Well, cool. These pants right here or these shorts they don't make anymore with this cargo pocket. And people look for this specific one. The reason I know that is because I sold these in the past and people have been like, if you ever come across them again, which I don't have their, their username, but if you ever cross, come across these again, let me know because they don't make them anymore and they're their favorites. So, just because they're older, sometimes you can get more money out of them. Brubeck. Yes, all the time, Ashley. All the time. You're that way too. I know. Brubeck said he bought Hurley in bulk, so but it sold slow. What price should it be at? I bought some Hurley in bulk. Um, see, now they sold Hurley at Costco this week. So, what type of Hurley is it? I buy the Hurley golf shorts that are Nike Dry Fit. Those sell used for me for $20. So, I don't know. I'd have to actually see them. You'd have to look, comp, uh, look up comps. But if you, like, I'm not greedy with my prices. Like, if I can make 10 or $12 or more and get it out the door, especially a bulk buy like that, I will. So um, if you bought them for like two bucks a piece or three bucks a piece and you can get 18 quick, get 18 quick, I would say. Unless you want to hold on to them, I don't know. Um, these are dilute trading. I don't know why people pass. I literally go behind thrifters and they pass these up. And I sell them. Look at my store. I sell these often. I probably sold like four this month. I can't do it. Can't do it. There you go. The loot trading. These are really big. Um, these like nylon stretch pants. But that's pretty much it. I'll end it with this. And a few questions. These are Hugo Boss. Um, again, Hugo Boss is not a brand I really like to pick up anymore. It's very expensive. Sells at Nordstrom's. But these... Scream Hugo Boss, right? They have they have the Hugo Boss logo on them. They have that going down the side. They're gold. They're these sweat shorts. For $3.99, I'm like, you know what? Those will be a pickup. I'll pick them up. I'm getting out of this mirror mode. Uh, done. Done. Yeah, $10 or $12, good. Um, yeah, I'm in Indianapolis. So, all right. I want to answer some questions. Oh, real quick. I just sold today this brand in a jacket. And if you watched my live last week or on YouTube, do you remember the jacket that I said, it's a packable jacket and you can do this with it. It sold for $50. So that jacket that I did this with sold for $50, this exact brand. Excuse me. So, as of course, as I flipped it, outdoor research. Outdoor research is, and a lot of times you're just gonna see the OR, 
Outdoor Research is such a good brand. I tell people all the time, what brands do I look for? What brands do I look for? Go into REI. If you're looking for hiking brands, go to REI.com, go to REI. Those are the brands you're gonna be looking for. And this is one of them. And they have this like taper, these are men's. So they have this uh, like, um, what would you call that? It looks like a capri, it's but... Like a, oh, no, it's like a capri pants, but it's, it's like a cinch. capri, but, yeah, like, people can go fishing and step in water or hike in these or whatever. But I don't know how much these will do for do uh, on eBay, but they were outdoor research, so I picked them up. Do you pick up Foot Joy Vest? I did it this week. There was a Foot Joy Vest I didn't pick up. It just depends. Some of that new Foot Joy sells really well. Like, what's the name of it, guys, in the chat? It's like Foot Joy... One of those like high hydro tech or high vent or hydro, the newer Foot Joy vests sell for really good money or like Pro Tour or whatever it is, sell for good money. But let me answer a few questions before we leave. Again, if you're just now coming in or whatever, up I post these always on my YouTube, so you can always watch those over there later on. And I always appreciate you guys coming in. I hope you learned stuff from this. I'm not leaving yet. I'll answer some questions. Dry Joy. They used to make Dry Joy. Dry Joy is not what I'm thinking of because they make old stuff in Dry Joy. I'd have to look it up. I'd have to look it up. It's not Dry Joy though. Uh, really need advice on which app to use for cross listing and possibly manage reselling business. So people use Vindu and they use um, Kway. A lot of people use um, List Perfectly. List Perfectly. Um, Vindu, Duluth, Trading, Shorts, Medium, Flex Drive. I'm not lying when I tell you this stuff, guys. Look what just sold. So I'm saying, why do people pass them up? He's just sold. Dilute trading, flex nylon shorts. I just said right here, people pass them up. So these, these sell, buy them. Um, but yeah, list perfectly, right? Mm -hmm. List perfectly in Vindu. Vindu. And um, someone I talked, they like, everyone likes them both. I do everything from my phone. So if I were to cross list, I might do Vindu. But um, if I were just starting out, I would probably cross list. I would do Poshmark, I would do eBay to start with, for sure. Um, but before you do both, make sure you understand one really well and then go to the next one and get that one down. Uh, lots of good stuff this week. You live thrifting tomorrow? TJ, uh, mm -hmm. My wife says, no, I do have a lot of work here. Um, I'm, I, might, I might do a live thrift like midday, midday tomorrow, because I need to do some work in the morning, maybe midday tomorrow. So let's, let's aim for like around 11 or noon. I'll feed you guys some lunch. Um, we'll go some live thrifting because I haven't been to the, like three stores on the west side of my town. Don't go there. Um, if, you're, if you're over there, don't go there. So I need to hit those stores up. I haven't been there for a few days. Does my wife work with me? No. Uh, we'd be divorced. We'd be divorced. <laughs> so she said no. And if anything, she works against me. So she'll she'll pull stuff that I get and say, oh, this is cute. Oh, I can wear this because my wife is like an Old Navy Amazon type of person. So when it's like a Lulu, which she's had before, she's like, ooh, this is really nice. Yeah, it is. This pays our, our bills. Um, hey, I want you to go to Rochelle said something earlier. Where did it go? She said, um, you can pin it. By implementing the information you've given us along with other great sellers, our sales have. Good. Oh, that's great. That's good. That's the whole point of this. Like, I don't get paid from TikTok. Like, I'm not getting anything from this. Mm -hmm. Maybe from YouTube one day they'll give me something or whatever, or Monster will finally sponsor me with GoGo -Go Juice. But until then, I'm here to help. Like, no loss for, for me at all. I heard Barney's getting listed this weekend. Not true. Listen, I'm about to order anything I can find on Amazon so this can get listed. It's just like the kid. <laughs> I love Barney. I'm not selling Barney until Barney has a box. So, but let's admire. Look how good a condition. Look at that. Beautiful. That kid didn't even play with Barney. No, Barney's. I might just keep Barney. He's been coming and talk. Good talk. All right. No. Um, any other questions? My son steals my good stuff all the time. Um, I love you. You love me. I know exactly. And it probably sings that to me. But you have to have look. 
you have to have Microsoft Windows, and I don't have that anymore. Who has Microsoft Windows? Exactly. Do most of your sales come from offers or outright buys? Honestly, since I got auto posture, it's about the same, half and half. Um, do you sell internationally on eBay, or is that a bad idea because of the shipping price? So, no, eBay has an international shipping program. Um, it used to be called the Global Ship. They've changed it three or four times since I've started. Um, and I started way back in the day, clothing in 2015. My store's been since 2001. Um, but right now it's eBay Global Shipping, and it's super easy. You literally pack your item, and it's, you ship it out just like any other package. You don't even know it's going international. It ships out to a dis distribution center. So what year do you think he's from? Oh, definitely 94. 94. 1994. Brad is from the future, obviously. What's up, Arizona Pickens? Arizona Pickens? Just like TJ. I'm going to... You're always in here. Um, all right. Uh, he's from 2087. No. He's from our future? He's from the future? You know what? I should keep it. I bet in 2087, it'll be worth a lot of money. Will I be alive then? No, I won't be alive then. It doesn't matter. Um, what's up, Jersey? What's up, Jersey? By the way, for the record, my dad is the OG thrifter. He's the OG. Is he not? Yeah. He's the OG hustler. Like, this room, this is why I'm the way I am. Like, because look at all that. Because of my dad. So... My dad, when I was little, said, we're going to keep all your Power Ranger boxes. So guess what I have? I have all my Power Rangers from the mid to early 90s, and I have all the original boxes. Genius. So I still have all those upstairs in the closet. I could sell those right now for a lot of money, but I would cry. Um, I'm always here to support my friend. Thanks. Um, random question. What gas price in Indy right now? You wouldn't know. I don't know. So Three, it's like, I think I put 358 358. I actually drive an electric car. Um, so in October, when I quit my job, um, I knew what was coming. I talked to my CPA and everything. Might not have been the best choice because it was a Tesla and it's expensive at the time, but it's making sense because I don't pay for gas. So I get to write off my miles and my um, office is out of my house and I use a lot of square footage here. So I get to write a decent part off of our electric bill. So miles off the car, and electric bill, the car practically pays for itself. Um, it does pay for itself on during tax season. So I never charged as thirteen thousand miles on it. I never charged it anywhere but my home. Um, that's amazing. Tell us about the paintings behind you. You guys don't want to be bored. You guys don't want to. Be bored. Maybe one day I'll do a, a tour of all this stuff. Um, does VHS Disney do really sell thousands of dollars? Yeah. But it's the really, really rare ones. Like, you're going to go to a thrift store. Like, I go in thrift stores usually during the school year, like, eight times a day. And I never find those really expensive ones. So, over $4 in Washington. Yeah. Um, what are basic hard goods? What are basic good hard goods? Mm, golf clubs that are name brand. Like, look up good golf clubs. I'm just thinking of stuff that you're gonna find, like golf clubs, like all this stuff, thanks for the heart. You're not gonna find this stuff anymore. Like this stuff, you just don't find. Um, this so generation's gone. Cutco, I feel like you found Cutco quite a bit. Yeah, Cutco, Cutco knives are really good in the hard, like I find those. But um, like all this stuff that I've collected over the years, um, you don't find stuff like that. So sewing machines, yes, and I have those. I bought a couple sewing machines. Um, singers are the best. I'm located in Indianapolis. So I have a whole shelf right here dedicated to Indianapolis Speedway stuff, which is pretty cool. Um, an original brick and everything. But again, I'm not going to bore you. Um, so please tap the screen. Thanks, Pickers. I'm actually going to head out, guys. So I appreciate it. Um, I will go live midday tomorrow, 11 to noon. I will go live with you guys. Um, it might be a turbo thrift. We might do like three thrifts in a quick amount of time. Um, like I've done before. So we'll just do like one. I'll say, I'll see you in 10 minutes. Another one, see you in 10 minutes, another one type of deal. So we might do that tomorrow. I appreciate all you guys. I hope you learned a lot. YouTube, if you're watching this later on, appreciate it. Um, I'll see you guys later and bye.